I want to call the health department. Good morning. Today we're going to be reviewing the worst rated restaurant in Los Angeles. But first I have to meet up with Trace. He lives in Burbank. So then we're going to meet up there, shoot a video he's making about the worst rated lemonade stand, I think. It's going to be so much fun wasting like 30 bucks on food that's going to be terrible. But first, exercise. What the heck? Come on, go. Up. There we go. This is the first time I've ever actually gone out in LA to do a collaboration to YouTube. I feel, I feel excited. <laughs> I don't even know if that's supposed to be the- Just to give context to this clip, I had just arrived at Trace's apartment in Burbank. And the way he had designed the world's worst lemonade stand is by putting a bunch of salt in the lemonade. And so here's my reaction to trying it. <laughs> I'm actually crying right now. It's fitting that we're gonna hopefully try the worst restaurant in LA today. Right? Because you might be running the worst restaurant in LA. <laughs> we can do two videos one spot. Should I put more salt in the salt one? Maybe if you it's already bad. I mean. <laughs> Hello. Do you want the world's worst lemonade? What? Do you want the world's worst lemonade? <laughs> Good work, Trace. Anna Monica. There's a reason why she waved to my camera, not yours. Um, what do you want to talk about? The fact that this is not going well. We can't. It's going great. We've we've lost money. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign for business. My expectation was we would get bad reactions, like dumb reactions, not very like high energy reactions. Yeah. But right now we're just not getting people to stop putting on what is problem. What? We're contributing to the worst. Oh, contributing. I thought you said counter-reading. <laughs> well, that doesn't even sound close it to It sounds the like a southern word. Sidebar, if Johnny Drama was at Venice Beach at this very moment, he would have stopped, walked up to me, and asked, Are those calves real, bro? Damn, Daniel! Now, if we're going to review the worst restaurant in LA, we have to assume an alter ego. Of binging with Babish, which by the way, Trace, I'm still sad you have no idea who he is. So you're just trying to busy bald? Yeah. Why do you think I have a bald cap? And guess what else he also has? A beard. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. How do I look? It's hard to talk with this thing on, honestly. Really? I feel very wise though. Do I look as wise as I feel? Yeah. You see? I fing am wise hey, right now, better, man. I've never seen you look better. Let me see in the mirror how I look. Dude, I look like an idiot. Good. I don't look as good as I thought I would. You look so good. All right, let's go review some food, though. I can review some. I can review some food in this. I can't speak. I'm a cheap pie. I like peas in my mouth. Yeah. The restaurant everyone knows, to be honest. It's funny how how famous this restaurant is, yet how bad its reviews are. You would think that that wouldn't be true. It's heartbreaking, frankly. Really? It is a bit sad. He doesn't deserve that. To be honest. It, he doesn't. But we're giving constructive criticism. We're refined connoisseurs of food. I'm basically like the Anthony Fantano of food. Don't say what it is yet. I'm blurring it out. I'm blurring it out. As a professional food connoisseur, I'm so professional, I'm now riding with my door dasher to bring the food <laughs> to the reviewing location. I'm not only reviewing the food, I'm reviewing my door dasher in live time. We're doing a ride along. He's wearing eggplant on his head. They're dicks, actually. I recently used eggplant to make ratatouille. When? In a recent video. Ask? My DoorDash ride-along has been rated as zero stars. <laughs> Hopefully this food can literally be anything better. It is sad to say the worst rated restaurant in this part of LA. Mr. Beast Burger. It's devastating. Every YouTuber's hero, frankly. Yeah, it's rated two stars? It was like one and a half stars. Wow. You ready? Well, as a food connoisseur, I'm actually gonna have to take the beer off. Not eat with the beer. No, I don't think I can. Eat with the beer. It's literally hair in my mouth right now. Eat with the beer. Wow, yeah. look at that. Surprise, I'm not Andrew Ray from Binging with Babish. I gotta, I, I, my first thought as a professional food critic, not a food professional, as a professional food maker, and food icon, frankly, in the YouTube space. 
my first thought is, Mr. Beast might have some haters, and that's what this is a symptom of, because this burger is far from two stars. It's a f solid burger. It tastes like a real onion grill burger. There, this is deserving of way more than just two stars. That is... Maybe location. We walked around Universal trying to find the place. Oh, that is true. The location is terrible. It is located in the middle of... And you have 16 minutes of parking. Why can't they have 15 or 20 minutes? What is up with 16? Because remember, their thought is 16 minutes. You'll remember it. The second bite was a little overcooked, if I'm being honest. Hey, I'm back. When it came to trying to figure out what restaurant we were going to go to, there was a single review that stood out on why we would go to this particular Mr. Beast location. And to clarify, this is not about Mr. Beast Burger in general. I've had Mr. Beast Burger before, and at other places it was really good. But this is about this place in particular, and there's a singular review I'm now going to read to you that motivated us to go to this spot. This stuff is embarrassing, just like your YouTube videos. And boy, let me tell you, $26 for those fries, I had to add salt because these Mamba Jambas had no flavor. Even though Uber Eats said all these seasonings, even with a hint of lime. I don't know if that's even true. I, I don't remember seeing anything about lime, but anyways. They trying to be Smash Burger, that's all. It really is the kicker. There is, I ordered a patty melt. I don't, either I'm not good at reading or this person wrote, am I this dumb? Okay, wait, what's going on? I, am I this bad at reading out loud because I haven't done it since middle school? That's all it really is. The kicker here is I ordered a patty melt and they gave me a bun with no meat, just cheese. And it was cold craft cheese. Like, bruh. Stick to making your weird YouTube videos because food ain't for you. Stuff's nasty. Stay away. I want to call the health department. And they even linked photos. Zero to five. How many babishes would you rate this culinary experience? You said fries are bland. I disagree. The fries are pretty good. They're Burgers soggy. Are pretty good. They are kind of soggy. Everything's kind of soggy. I'll give it a solid 3.9. 3.9? Yep. Percentage wise, that's 78%. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely lower than a 78% if we're grading, and I. Basically, I'm a teacher of food, so... For a fast food burger and, like, fries, it's not bad. This is more expensive than In-N-Out, and definitely not as good as In-N-Out. The fries are better, I would say, than In-N-Out's. They're about the same to me. In-N-Out's <laughs> fries are overcooked, and these ones are soggy. I would say that this is... Two stars out of five. Wow. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. Two babishes out of five. Two out of five. Yeah, I, I, I think that's true. Wow. That's a pretty harsh rating. I think it's a below average burger, if I'm being honest. It actually was not super good. Trace and I both targeted the worst, right? He wanted to try and start the worst lemonade stand, and I wanted to go to the worst restaurant. But the irony is, that day, this day, was anything but the worst. It was filled with going to the beach, meeting a lot of interesting people, having a lot of good laughs. When I think of this day, I don't think of the worst day. In fact, it was a good day. Boneless wings are better than the bone-in wings, by the way. Feel free to debate that in the comments, but there's not much debate. It's obvious. Boneless, better than bone-in.